Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love In this video, after enjoying some of the Point Richmond trails, we prepare to haul out. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. Here is the Richmond San Rafael Bridge, Mount Tamalpais. Over there is Tiburon Angel Island. There's a building that area that's going to be developed eventually. You can see San Francisco and the Bay Bridge. Down here is the Richmond Yacht Club. Pretty busy today. It's Halloween weekend and there's a great pumpkin race today. And then over there where those boats are is where we keep our rejoicing. All right, so this is October 29th, 2023. And this, these boats are, some of them anyway, going out for the great pumpkin race. You can see a lot, a lot of boats out there. You know, last year they had 200 entrants and I believe 142 finishers. Uh, Celia and I had thought about doing the race today, but the winds this time of year tend to be pretty light. Um, and our boat, although a fast boat in higher winds, um, only has a little over a 40 foot mast above the water. And so not so great in light air. Um, so we decided to sit this one out and plus we're doing our haul out tomorrow. So there will be more on that tomorrow. But wish all these racers luck today. They'll sail all the way around Angel Island and also all the way around Alcatraz and then back. Some remnants of the tracks of the train that used to go out to this old pier starting probably over a hundred years ago. And um, the pier is falling apart. So they're actually going to be dismantling it. The pulley structure above is pretty cool though, but ferries used to come to the pier and shipping um, container boats or whatever it was back then um, would come to the pier and the trains would go out. You can see the tracks actually out on what's left of the pier too. There's a new fishing pier here now that you can access. But here's what the uh, pier looks like now that's going to be taken down. Here's the thrill that'll get you when you get your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. As a new Beneteau owner, Blair was interviewed about the recent Beneteau Days event we attended by the Bay and Delta Yachtsmen. So I'm soloing, got the fenders up there. All right, so um, this gives a little taste 
of uh, solo sailing. Um, only motoring today, so probably good to practice motoring first solo. Um, as some of you may well know, there are um, various solo races available, and here in the San Francisco Bay Area, um, a nearly ridiculous uh, number of opportunities. So at some point, who knows, maybe we'll have me try a solo race, we'll have to see. But anyway, I miss my dear sweetie. Aw, oh, love you very much, my dear. And I'll see you soon over at the Berkeley Marine Center. So Celia is driving over, um, we'll do a pump out over there and then we'll get over to the actual Marine Center and um, before she left she made me this wonderful turkey sandwich, so I'm getting to enjoy that out here, yum. Fortunately we're on a low tide, I mean a high tide day, not a low tide day. Um, at low tide, the waters we're in right now, um, if you were at zero um, for the low tide, would be only nine feet deep and we draw seven. So that would be pretty nerve wracking. Um, I believe we're at about plus six to plus seven right now. So as a result, we're like 15 to 16 feet deep. Um, so you just, you can't go too close to shore it gets a lot shallower um, as you go toward the shore of Albany and Berkeley but um, out here in the bay we're good so out there right in the middle of the water just below those buildings in the middle is the navigation buoy that I'll be turning left at um, that is marking going in marking the port side of the channel but you can see um, that's all you get um, see you know it's not like a freeway <laughs> where they have all these directions and there's no boat out here for me to sort of follow what they're doing um, so you have to get it right okay so here's the entrance to the Berkeley Marina there's it looks like a jetty coming out on the right a rock jetty and the cement great water there. So that's where we'll be coming in and then uh, in the distance you can see UC Berkeley and Camp Ely and all kinds of buildings up to the uh, Strawberry Canyon. Yeah, what are you doing, well, sweetie? This is the disgusting little tube that 
pulls all the pee, the poop and peep out, although we just have pee in ours. Um, and then I'm going to hand this to Blair and he's going to do the dirty work. Yep, and then I think there's a little spot over there, she'll turn it on. Yep. And then I get it down there. We do have that black rope is our furling line for the head sail. So I'll work around that and notice we both have our gloves on. Safety first. Love you, sweetie. Okay, so here's our girl. She is on the hard in the yard. Um, haven't done the um, bottom paint yet. Um, apparently they did. Uh, my understanding is they did both of these aft through hulls. So uh, this side, I believe, feeds water to the propeller shaft. And then the other side over here, um, I believe is the raw water intake. So both of those should have been done. Anyway, there's, there's our girl and she's getting the standing rigging replaced as well during, during this uh, haul out. All right, so we are um, hauling out rejoicing. Um, that has been done. We're down there at Berkeley Marine Center. Um, and we have a pretty long list of things to do, pretty typical for a boat that's about 18 years old. Um, I already mentioned the anti-fouling paint and the standing rigging. Those are definitely getting done. Um, we are replacing the shaft seal, um, hopefully with a dripless shaft seal. Um, and we're replacing the cutlass bearing and there's a small extra project um, that our buddy Steve is going to help us with on that. Um, we are rebedding chain plates on the starboard shrouds. Um, we're hoping that it looks like those are the only ones that need doing this haul out. And then maybe in three years, we might do some of the others. We'll see what they say after more fully inspecting. Um, we're going to end up replacing six through holes for now. Um, with bronze Graco through hulls. Um, and then the next haul out in a few years, we will most likely replace all of the other through hulls. Um, we're replacing the anchor tricolor light at the top of the mast, which luckily with the mast being um, unstepped um, for the standing rigging project, um, that should hopefully be super easy to do. We are hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully adding radar, which will go um, just above the steaming light on the mast. Um, we're going to add an anchor washdown system. Um, so that'll be pretty awesome to get that set up. And of course, that'll require yet another Graco bronze through hull, um, plus a pump and wiring to get that set up. So that part I'm sure will cost a bit. Um, we have two Raymarine Axiom 9 chart plotters, and so they have an electrician who will install one of those at the binnacle, and then another one um, down below at the navigation station. We have a small diesel leak that we haven't been able to figure out. Um, we're wondering if the bottom of the tank might be just leaking a tiny bit. Um, if so, we may end up needing an entire tank replacement, and then hoping to get the tank gauge fixed as well, um, or probably just install a new one, especially if we do a, a full replacement. Um, and um, let's see, the cooling system, um, our friend Steve added an accessory cooling reservoir. And the theory is that maybe when you do that project, a little bit of air got into the system because what we're finding is that with about every two hours of use, we're losing about an inch of coolant fluid, which of course is not great. Um, the heat exchanger was worked on extensively while the boat was in escrow. That was paid for by the seller. And so as long as the heat exchanger is okay, then the air bubble theory makes sense. So hopefully all is good with that and um, we can 
you know, work to get that bubble out of the system and then uh, be good to go. Um, and let's see, we're going to replace the head to tank and the tank to deck fill hoses um, with Trident hoses, which hopefully will smell less. So they're thinking that that'll do the trick, that we don't need to do other hoses right now. And then the forward head, the valve seems leaky. So after you flush it, there's a tiny bit of backfill back in. So um, hoping we can get that squared away as well. So that's the plan for the haul out. It's pretty darn ambitious. So yeah, if we can get all those things done and somehow do it um, semi-affordably, then we will be in great shape. Um, it'll be amazing to have two well-functioning chart plotters. Um, amazing to have radar tapping in. Um, there's so much fog in San Francisco Bay that they, in, I think it was 2010 or so, um, somebody came up with the name Carl, K-A-R-L, for the fog. So um, it would be great to have radar to help us uh, coexist comfortably with Carl. That is a lot regarding the haul out. Um, I think anytime you buy a used sailboat in the 15 to 20 year age range, I would recommend um, anticipate spending um, around one third of the purchase price in the first year. Um, I think that's roughly what we'll end up hitting, but then we'll be in pretty darn great shape. So anyway, I think that's it for our haul out video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments at all, feel free to send those our way. Um, and if you like our videos, please consider prescribing as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Show me life. Show me love. Make a change. Time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life. Show me love.